I want to share a story with you guys on the topic of how on the topic of research that impacted me so much. So back in undergrad, I encountered a group of my peers who didn't believe that repressed memories were real after someone had a traumatic event. And I experienced this, and it saddened me that a lot of people didn't know what repressed memories were. And now I am here looking inside people's brains with an MRI, of course, um, and researching how memory works. And I, that is why I am so grateful for everybody here celebrating and recognizing our work in this field. So people, uh, a lot of people, don't remember parts of their lives after a traumatic event, especially people who have PTSD. And in order to understand what is happening with traumatic memories, we need to take a step back. Our research is centered on how memory is being processed more specifically on how memory reactivation during sleep uh, impacts details or objects and the context of memories and how they are being bounded together. We use a technique called targeted memory reactivation where we reactivate specific memories, just like Gotham said, um, with sound or, or uh, smell. And um, what we found was that objects and their context keep their specificity when we compare these memories to memories that were not reactivated. Understanding how objects and contexts are being bounded is essential. If we understand how specificity works, then it can help people with PTSD decontextualize certain items or triggers from their traumatic contexts. I am still in awe that I have the privilege to contribute to this research and find ways to reactivate or rewire certain memories to improve quality of life in the future. Thank you.